Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Honourable uh, Minister Andrew Langer, the Minister of uh, Sports, Arts and uh, Culture. After receiving the award for uh, favourite cultural destination on behalf of our beautiful nation, Zimbabwe. Moving right along, ladies and gentlemen, our next award is for academic member of the European Academy, and uh, that has been awarded to Honourable Minister Engineer Walter Mzembi, the Minister of Tourism and Hospitality Industry. May we kindly ask him to please uh, take his uh, place in front of the high table. Minister Mzembi, please. And uh, may I also kindly call upon uh, Professor Micha Konstantinechu, I hope I said that right, <laughs> to also come through and uh, present this award. And uh, Professor Konstantinechu is the director of the European Tourism Academy. Could we also ask our Carnival Queens to uh, come and help with the presentation? <clears throat> Your Excellency, Mr. President Robert Mugabe, the Vice President of Zimbabwe and the Tourist Patron, Mrs. Joyce Mujuru, Cabinet Ministers and Member of Parliament present here, members of the Diplomatic Corps, as well as ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, all protocol observed, we are here to award Dr. Walter Mzembi the Minister of Tourism and Hospitality Industry, the Medal of Honor by the European Tourism Academy. This won't be a laudatio, it will be shorter. So taking into account the diverse <clears throat> natural and cultural resources of destination Zimbabwe is endowed with uh, the European Council of Tourism and Trades have found the contribution of African and international tourism by your Minister of Tourism and Hospitality quite outstanding. The entire activity of Walter Mazembe is remarkable <clears throat> and represents a very successful combination between high-level knowledge uh, and expertise and efficient action implemented in different areas of public service and in global tourism affairs. Dr. Mzembe is a very successful person, a man of many talents. His initial activity in the area of mechanical engineering, mining activity, water resources engineering development and management, land resettlement and agro-industrial management provided him with extensive knowledge and expertise. This is also the confirmation that his doctorate in management by the Aztec University in Mexico is much more than honorary. Dr. Zembi undertook his studies and then got a diploma in business and government studies, uh, giving him the credentials for being a knowledgeable member of the Zimbabwe uh, government as well as different parliament bodies and committees. Dr. Zim uh, Zembi is at the same time a great patriot. He loves his country, Zimbabwe, and the people of Zimbabwe. He put his enthusiasm, energy, and knowledge in making a better life for the people and promote the image of his country all over the world. One may think that in a large and complex country like Zimbabwe, uh, being a Minister of Tourism may be much easier than in other uh, areas of activity. But uh, what the international tourists visiting Zimbabwe nowadays might see is only the tip of the iceberg. Practically, the entire Zimbabwe economy is contributing to access, uh, successful tourism, making tourism the third largest contributor to the gross domestic product after mining and agriculture sector. Dr. Mzembe's expertise in all this area was very uh, success, uh, successful. Mother Nature was generous with Zimbabwe. Numerous natural resources, particularly Particularly, your flora and fauna represent valuable assets for tourism potential and create a legal basis for wildlife experience. Your framework for, prote for preserving the natural resources and wonderful landscape, as well as building a tourism structure, is highly recommended. By the experience of many countries in the world, we know that only the beauty and the scenery doesn't make a tourist attraction and does not bring money. It is the innovation and creativity 
to create value of these resources. You need modern infrastructure, need people to provide services and stewardship, need financial and human resources, need communication and goodwill, and above all, you need to be proud of your country. Dr. Zemli knows all that, and since the 2009, uh, he and his team, with the support of the entire uh, Zimbabwe government, developed and implemented a successful strategy for the Zimbabwe tourism. In his effort to claim Zimbabwe's place of honor among other countries constituting the international community, Dr. Zembi has now hesitated to engage in collaboration with international uh, bodies. More recently, he played a leading role in a successful uh, biding, uh, uh, bidding for uh, Zimbabwe to co-host co the 20th session uh, of the United Nations World uh, Trade Organization and the, uh, the Victoria Falls, which was very successful. Uh, Dr. Mzembi is a born communicator and diplomat, and this is not a pure laudation. The recognition of his merits in this area are confirmed by the appreciation of Institute of Public Relations by African, African Travel Association and so on different bodies. Mr. President, let me say it is not the titles and diplomas fin that finally count, but the results. And Dr. Walter Zembi, as Minister of Tourism of Zimbabwe, got remarkable results in 2009. He realized that the continuous development of domestic tourism would not be enough. The tourism of Zimbabwe, as the entire Zimbabwe na nation, must be reconnected uh, to the world. It was not an easy task uh, uh, for a country as, uh, that was in isolation for more than a decade. The President Robert Mugabe, the Zimbabwe government and parliament, supported by all the Zimbabwe people, played an essential role in installing again Zimbabwe into the great concert of the nations. Dr. Zembi was part of this continuous effort of communication and diplomacy inside and outside the country. So there is almost no surprise that with remarkable personalities like Dr. Zembi, Zimbabwe was nominated as a 2014 Best Tourist Destination by the European Council of, on Tourist and Trade, a which will be handed by Professor Karaja. Finally, as a recognition of his contribution to the development of Zimbabwe tourism, the European Council of, of Tourist and Trade proudly and confidently hand over the Medal of Honor to the Minister of Tourism and Hospitality Industry, Honorable Walter Mzembi, as an academician of the, Rume of the European Tourist Academy, indeed, as we do so without reservation, and uh, wish to congratulate him as the newest academician of the, our European Tourism Academy. Thank you. Well, indeed, a well-deserved uh, award for Honorable Minister Muzembi, who has done uh, a great job in uh, marketing Zimbabwe as a brand. Congratulations, <laughs> Honorable Minister Muzembi. <laughs> Awarded the academic member of the European Academy. Maokorokoto Amflo Pema Muzembi. Right, receiving his uh, prestigious award. Congratulations once again. And I will ask uh, the Honorable Minister to come through and uh, give us his acceptance speech.